So you could see how uh, the telescopic antenna in the other video with the same signal, this is 15770, Supreme Master TV, via WRMI. So you saw that on the telescopic it was very noisy and it was almost impossible to, to listen to. Unfortunately, that probably will be the drawback of this little receiver. The fact that on the telescopic antenna, the internal noise is so high and there's no real big shielding in it that it actually gets into the antenna. But once, you see now I've actually plugged in my MLA30 on it. So um, it actually is much better once you actually do this on the uh, receiver. Um, for sure. So, um, that's, that's going to be something that's going to fix it. Now you see this, I noticed that when you manipulate the radio, that's also something that's happened sometimes. I kind of lose the sound for some reason. It's as if the computer controlling it is, uh, in need of a reset. So I just, uh, restart the radio. And once it restarts, you go back to whatever frequency. Now the tuning, of course, with these buttons, the band buttons and all is uh, what is the most complicated feature here and then trying to go back and I'm mastering it a little more now so there we go and of course bandwidth you can expand the bandwidth here there's the bandwidth 6 kilohertz 4 kilohertz depending on what bandwidth you want to have So you can see that uh, you'll probably need to use an external antenna with a little bit of shielding cable, shielded cable. Um, in my case it's the MLA30 with the cable that's shielded so that works fine. But as soon as you get into an antenna that is the telescopic, uh, too much noise is generated unfortunately within this receiver to be usable as a portable unit. Uh, on its own but if you combine this with say you you know have a portable MLE 30 and you have this little radio that might actually be an interesting uh, combination if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching my videos finally got his permanent home after a setback while living at the non-profit Pitches Bully Rescue in Ohio. The nine-month-old Jack was sad enough when he had legally traveled 40 minutes.